Our hymn is number 201. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Eternal King Christ Jesus, Lord, the Father's perfect Word and Son, to your own image in your love, you first created sinless man. And when the enemy of good deceived our race and brought it you chose our nature to assume with virgin mother's free consent that so uniting God and man you might for guilty man atone that pardon through redeeming blood in Christ all men should You chose to die upon the cross to save us all from lasting death. You shed your blood in sacrifice to win us endless happiness. Once risen and in glory do with God the Father now you reign, and we believe with hope and love that we through you shall rise again. O Jesus, be our Easter joy, which never fades from grateful hearts. May all of us your triumph share, reborn and radiant with grace. All glory, Jesus, be to you, we who conquer death and reign supreme, resplendent with the Father's power and with the Holy Spirit's life. Amen. <coughs> Creation will be set free and obtain the glorious liberty of the children of God. Alleluia. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song. If the Lord had not been on our side, when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. 
Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us. Over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Creation will be set free and obtain the glorious liberty of the children of God. Alleluia. Let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Alleluia. <laughs> Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountain surrounder, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart. But the crooked and those who do evil drive them away on Israel peace. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. Alleluia. I will have compassion on you, says the Lord your Redeemer. Alleluia. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil. Will guard him, give him life, make him happy in the land, and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. <clears throat> How long before he dies and his name be forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They always have the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has turned against me. 
But you, Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more, and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend. If my foes do not shout in triumph over me. If you uphold me, I shall be unarmed and sat in your presence forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory, Glory to, to the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I will have compassion on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. Alleluia. Behold, I make all things new. Behold, I am coming soon. Alleluia. <clears throat> Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who would dare refuse you honor or the glory to your name, O Lord? Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Yes, Lord God Almighty, your judgments are true and just. There shall be no more death or mourning. The old order has passed away. The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation, says this. Let him who thirsts come forward, and him who wants it receive the gift of life-giving water. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Behold, I make all things new. Behold, I am coming soon. Alleluia. St. Paul, from the letter to the Hebrews. <clears throat> Son, though he was, Christ learned obedience from what he suffered. And when perfected, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Designated by God as high priest, according to the order of Melchizedek.
node 6. is the way, the truth, and the life. Let us praise him and say, We pray to you, Lord Jesus, for all the ministers of your church, as they break for us the bread of life. May they themselves receive nourishment and strength. We pray for the whole Christian people that all may be worthy of their calling and safeguard their unity in the Spirit by the bond of peace. We pray for those who govern us that they may be that they may temper justice with mercy and promote harmony and peace throughout the world. Kyrie eleison. <clears throat> Pray for Father Nathan, for Father Francesco, safe travels, and for all those suffering from different illnesses and those who've been put in the hospital recently, especially Father Wagner, and uh, for Scott, Ken, for Pat Young. For Jeremy Bergstrom's intentions and for the Simmons uh, intentions. Thank you, Joe, your intentions, all of our benefactors. For Canada. For Kim and his family and all their intentions. Pray for his family who came with the ER last night off the school train. My friends Aaron and Doug, as they were the busy weekend with trying to get some clothes for their wedding. Taking care as they take care of the rest of the ministry. (coughs) 
We pray for ourselves that our hearts may be purified to sing your praises in the communion of saints. May we be reunited with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we commend to your loving kindness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may to the love of the Spirit ourselves rise to newness of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology up of April the 21st. Memorial of St. Anselm, Doctor of the Church. He entered the Benedictine Abbey of Bethelwin in Normandy, which was renowned for its school directed by Lanfranc. First a monk and then abbot, he applied himself to searching for a better understanding of the faith by using a scholastic method, which would greatly influence the future of theology. Later elected Archbishop of Canterbury, he defended the church's religious liberty despite his personal friendship with the King of England. He died in 1109. In 1894 in Bavaria, Germany, the return to God of St. Conrad of Pisum, a Capuchin brother, he was porter of a Marian sanctuary for more than 40 years. He welcomed each pilgrim as if he were Christ. He was also responsible for numerous religious vocations. The same day, the heavenly birth of a cloud of witnesses of every race, people, and tongue, and nation who had entered into his reign. 